Mario is known first and foremost as the official mascot of Nintendo and arguably gaming as a whole, but he's known for many other things too. Mario is a hero. He's also low-key been a plumber this whole time, but at some point, Mario decided to make a change. He went to medical school. In 1990, Nintendo released the Tetris-like action puzzle game, Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario was a big hit and went on to be ported to many other Nintendo platforms, as well as a sequel on the Nintendo 64. But this version of the Mario character wouldn't break free of his own game until 2001. Super Smash Bros. Melee introduced Doc as a playable fighter, being one of the first clone characters. Brings it all the way back! His moveset was identical to Mario's, but he featured some subtle differences that mattered a lot in competitive play. Doc's airspeed was slightly faster than Mario's, his stethoscope weighed more than the cat, making him heavier, and his moveset was overall more powerful in damage and knockback. Despite having a weaker recovery than his less educated clone, Dr. Mario outranks Mario on the melee tier list. He still isn't particularly viable, though. Dr. Mario was one of the few characters cut going from melee to brawl, but he made a surprise return in Smash 4. Unfortunately, he fell many tiers below Mario, with much slower ground and airspeed and less combo-friendly knockback angles. Sadly, this is very much the case for Ultimate Dr. Mario as well. Despite sharing so many similarities with Mario, who's often considered a top tier, Doc finds himself in low or even bottom tier in Smash's newest iteration. His movement is severely worse than Mario's, his aerials have generally more cooldown, and his combo potential can't even begin to compare to Mario's. That's not even the worst part, though. Doc has one of the absolute worst recoveries in the game. It could even make an argument for being worse than Little Max. His up B travels almost nowhere, and his only other recovery option is the Tornado, which can be easily punished. In this video, we're gonna share some ideas on how to improve Mario's clone while keeping him the slower, stronger version he's meant to be. For our question of the day, how would you fix Dr. Mario? Let us know, and stay tuned to see what some of your fellow viewers have suggested. Hey guys, Bonk here, and if you want to learn more about Dr. Mario or any character, check out our character guides on ProGuides.com. We've also got pro courses taught by the best of the best like MKLeo, and live classes giving you the chance to play with pros. For even more, you can take advantage of Instapro to find yourself an awesome coach today. So what's really wrong with Doc? Forgetting about the differences between him and Mario. We mentioned that his mobility is poor, and that's no exaggeration. His airspeed and run speed are bottom 10 in the game, and his aerial acceleration is not much better. This is a huge detriment. The best characters in the game are almost always fast in some way, and slow characters are almost always lower tier. Some characters like Byleth manage to compensate for their slow speed with long range and good recovery. Not Doc, though. His range is just about as stubby as Mario's, even shorter when it comes to moves like Forward Smash. This means that you have a slow character who struggles to get up close, but needs to get up close to accomplish much of anything. And for recovery, you have a character who needs to drift close to the stage to be in range to recover, but moves too slowly to get there lots of the time. With all of these huge weaknesses, there isn't much of anything that could compensate for them. But, potentially, if Doc had some insane combos, he'd be able to come close. Well, his combos aren't terrible unless you're comparing him to Mario, but he'll still need to win multiple neutral interactions to get opponents to kill percent. Kill percent is a bit lower for Doc because of his powerful knockback, but it's still hard for him to make it that far before getting KO'd himself. Frame data is another potential compensating factor, and Doc's isn't bad. For the most part, his moves come out just as quickly as Mario's with a fast frame 2 jab, frame 3 nair, and frame 6 back air. Doc, however, has much more lag on these moves both landing and in the air. He can only swing one back air from a short hop, and will suffer more landing lag on essential landing aerials such as back air and nair. Doc's Nair is very interesting. Unlike seemingly every other Nair with that kick animation, Doc's begins with a weak hitbox and is strongest towards the end. This can actually be useful in neutral, but guts the move's reward as a combo breaker. Dr. Mario is a very slow character with low range, average combos, and abysmal recovery. How can we fix him? Let's see what you guys had to say. First up, viewer... Oh, here we go again. The furriest doge says, Give him a tether and longer grab range with his stethoscope. This might be the most creative suggestion we've read yet. 
Having a tether recovery would be an interesting way to buff one of Doc's weakest areas. As evident with Byleth or even Min Min, tether recoveries can be extremely useful for characters with poor aerial mobility. If this came in the form of a Zare, Doc would now also have three ways to mix up his recovery between tether, up B, and down B, drastically improving his offstage game. This would also allow him to go deeper for edge guards, which he could really benefit from with his new down air spike and strong late nair. On stage, a tether grab is a bit polarizing. Like with the new Luigi, a tether grab allows a slower character to grab without needing to close as much space, but also nerfs the grab as a fast punish or out of shield option. Doc already has decent out of shield options though, and his mega vitamins are great at conditioning opponents into shield, so a tether grab could be nice. This also means Doc would have a Zare. That means he'd have a completely disjointed aerial with more range, both of which he severely lacks. We'd absolutely love to see Dr. Mario receive this change, but we highly doubt it'll happen. Next, viewer Pipe Le Chien <laughs> suggests get another jump. He may have discovered it while studying medicine. He could have new combos. First of all, that justification is just plain hilarious. But no matter what the lore is, Dr. Mario getting a second midair jump isn't as far-fetched as you might think. There are multiple characters who have just one additional jump, but it goes a really long way in aiding their recovery, neutral, and disadvantage state. For Dr. Mario, another jump would be fantastic for his recovery. In addition to the obvious distance improvement, Doc could afford to drift much lower when setting up his recovery. His up special is already difficult to contest, the issue is just that he's vulnerable before he has a chance to use it, so he'd be much harder to edgeguard. As for combos though, we're not sure how much the jump would help, as Doc is a more horizontally oriented combo character. And that brings us to this detailed solution from viewer Fruit Loops, who I believe is also a coach on the website, so hit him up if you're looking for one, who says, The reason why Doc being so slow is so bad is because his entire kit revolves around him comboing characters horizontally, since almost all of his moves send horizontally, yet he has the worst initial dash in the game, making it hard for him to get his stubby toes to reliably reach characters. If he whiffs, he practically trades, and he can die for it due to his poor recovery and while being a midway. Dr. Mario with a better initial dash to at least be serviceable would be a very helpful buff, and would make him at least a more consistent character. They then went on to add, better airspeed in general would significantly improve Doc's recovery without changing his design. A mixture of initial dash and airspeed buffs would actually go a long way. While Doc should be slow, his mobility is just too trashy even for his own polarizing archetype. These are a bunch of excellent points and what we think would be the most practical solutions. Doc's awful initial dash is even slower than his run speed and makes it even harder to chase after the opponents that he's inherently launching somewhat horizontally away. Having a fast initial dash on a slow running character isn't unheard of. It's what makes Wolf have a solid dash dance even though his run speed is only slightly faster than Doc's. But we think the biggest change that Dr. Mario needs is an airspeed and acceleration buff. Pretty much every single one of Doc's issues can be helped with this one change. He'll be able to get close to opponents with greater ease and space his stubby aerials more carefully, he'll be better at mixing up his landings, he'll be able to pursue characters that he's comboing horizontally much better, and last, but certainly not least, recovery. With faster airspeed, Doc's existing recovery options can be so much better. This is one of the reasons why characters like Krom and Cloud aren't as easy to gimp as you'd expect. With a buff to both airspeed and aerial acceleration, Doc would be able to drift back to the ledge much faster, allowing him to survive greater knockback, recover before an opponent can edge guard, and offer more opportunities to recover with directional air dodge. Again, referencing Wolf, this is another character who has a very slow run speed, but has a fast initial dash and great airspeed. It really makes a huge difference, but this wouldn't change who Doc is at his core. He'd still run slowly, he'd still hit hard, and his recovery options themselves would still travel low distance. With better airspeed and initial dash, Doc wouldn't be broken. He wouldn't be a top tier, but he would be much better, and he'd still be Doc. Do you agree? We'd love to hear your thoughts, as well as which character you'd like to see us discuss fixing next. Make sure to subscribe to Pro Guides and click the bell so you can be the first to catch our next upload.